I am Pablo Gunner and I am the Idiot Gamer. Yes, I've been playing since the Nintendo, but somehow my classic gamer brain has been con disconnected and I play like an idiot. And every time I die, that's, you'll see in the video, that's my idiot count or, or fail, you know, since there's other ways to like fail in this game, which is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's the DLC, which is Freedom Cry as you see, where you play as Adewale, Edward's right-hand man. And this one is really cool and really unique because you're helping slaves, you're helping them free. Now, it starts off just your regular uh, Assassin's Creed game, pretty much. Um, except for the fact that you're him, of course. But, you know, like you're him as an assassin, he gets shipwrecked and everything like this, you end up on Pota Prince, and you're there. There I am, like, getting treasure because I'm a greedy mofo. And there's... I don't remember, like, explosive barrels, so I... But I don't know, so I don't know if that's a new thing or not. But yeah, so they have that. They have everything that this game had previously. Now, I got this through PlayStation Plus, so I don't exactly... Uh, I, I didn't exactly, like, just play it. But it still felt fresh and new because, like I said, the controls are all the same. Everything works out really well. You know, you target everything, eagle vision, all that stuff, and even the weapons. The weapons are really great because you can, they have the darts, they have the sleep darts, they have the berserk darts that makes guys go crazy and fight with their own dudes. And uh, this one, you have a machete, so that's really cool. Uh, I really like that. And so, yeah, it, it is pretty much your average uh, Assassin's Creed game at first. I, I end up taking all these guys out one by one, and I, I like using Berserk Darts just because I love turning people against each other. I don't know what it is. It's just fantastic. Uh, so maybe that makes me some sort of sick sadistic mofo. But anyways, that's uh, that's that's what it is. That's that's how it goes down. Yeah. Of course, you have your classic eagle vision going on. You gotta summon your eagle powers. You know, get those nutrients so you can see all the stuff on your map. Uh, but this one's really unique and really cool. This one you can go to uh, different the market. It's weird because you don't you can buy certain stuff like ammo. But for the most part, you have to earn the things. Like, you earn different pouches by freeing a certain amount of slaves or recruiting a certain amount of resistance fighters. It's really cool, and I like that, that you have to earn it. I'm, I'm, I'm very about the earning more stuff program, except it makes it more difficult when, like, hey, I just want to speed through, but this stuff really helps you, and so it makes the game a lot harder if you don't do every mission. But it rewards you for doing all the missions and stuff. And so this one's cool though, this this one's very interesting because you're helping slaves get free, like this one, it's they're being punished, and you can fight the guys and kill the guys that are punishing these slaves and then free them. And so this makes the game so different and so unique, because before there's always people that you can help, but this takes it to a whole different level that makes it very difficult to ignore, it's like these things are going on and I feel like I have to save every slave that I possibly can so that they don't get killed or they don't die or, or just so that they're free. It's it's really crazy. So it feels even more rewarding. It has more uh, heft and brevity to it, you know. Um, there's just more weight to it and so I really, really like that. It's wonderful. And then, you know, they always thank you, of course, and stuff and you're like, you say something. They are, there's also escapees, so there's escaping slaves and then if you you know attack and kill the guys who are chasing them down which might kill them or might just capture them that's what you do then there's also convoys that you can stop this one's great because i love fighting on the roofs because they come up there and you just knock everybody off so it's great because i just i just beat everybody so easily by knocking them off it's wonderful uh, it, but it makes it a little too easy because combat is just like fantastic because you just knock everyone off pretty much and you're just like the master of the rooftops. So, yeah. So, it's, it's, it's freaking great. I love it. It's so wonderful. And, uh, yeah, there's so many different kinds of missions that you can do where 
you can free slaves and it's so great and I love the fighting style too in this because you have a machete like it's so freaking hardcore uh, it took me a little while to get used to because it's a different fighting style. I'm so used to having like, a different kind of sword and just the blades even. Like, he just plays differently. And it's really cool and really neat. I like that. Then you also have the auction. So you have to take everybody out in the area and fight everybody off and kill them. And like I said, if, if you don't... They've really refined this fighting system where if you're not, it's not so easy anymore. And I like that because you really have to focus, you really have to pay attention and be like, okay, I have to target this person and counter them. You have to be looking in the right direction, you have to have the right person highlighted if you do that. But yeah, so you get to free them from the auction. You are very brave. And Thank so you. that's, there's just Major so many different ways to free slaves, it's cool. The other one is, there's the jailer. And they have them. They have them, of course, in a in a cage in a prison, in a little jail. Which it's weird because it says cage, and I'm like, man, even the wording is intense and powerful because it's like cage, like animals, and it's like that's how they treated them, like they were animals, and, and it's 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 like they're not like prisoners, you know. It, it was so messed up, but because of that, I feel like. This is exactly what we need right now in our society. Like, like I said, this is a PlayStation Plus game for the month of August, which is almost over, but 2017. But I feel like this is exactly what our country needs right now. Well, not our country exactly, and not every person, but I feel like it does mean a lot, and it means a lot to me, especially right now with all the racial tension going on right now in our country. It just feels fantastic to have, a, have this game out. It just feels right. Oh, and then there's the jailers, and they look like I hate these guys so much because they see you, and they're like, oh, he's a runaway slave just because I'm black. And it pisses me off so much to no end. Uh, so I always like try to kill those guys because if you don't then they send all kinds of people after you and they're really hardcore Of course, there's the injured slaves you find them in their little group of guys and you take them to them and stuff and It's just so wonderful and then the last one which there's a lot of slaves at is or not last one, but but one of the big ones is the plantation you go to a plantation and you have to take out like 20 overseers and then and i try to always take out the bells because they ring them and it brings more people but anyways yeah they have plantation that has a lot of slaves there so you can free a lot of people that way and then the last and final one is which i don't have in the video but it's pretty basic because it's almost the same as all the other seafaring missions which is but you don't uh, they have slave ships but you can't attack the slave ship so it adds a different element to it which is cool because you can't attack them and if you do then like you lose recruits you lose people that will join you and so but that's cool you just take out you have to maneuver like strategize taking out the other the ships that are protecting them and that gets a lot of a lot of people on your side and a lot of freed slaves so it's wonderful and so it's fantastic uh yeah and so here is the rest is just um a few missions so if you want to watch those feel free and uh and i'm gonna have my little review at the end and like i said every time that i screw up or die that's an idiot count where it's just me being an idiot playing like an idiot so yeah Idiot. Would be safer for it. Monsieur Gouverneur, if they felt safe at the plantation, do you think they would rebel? <laughs> of course. It is their animal nature. Violence is the only currency that motivates them. 
like going to you. If you really want to protect your African friends, spread the word. Quiet them down. Otherwise... You need not describe. I will deliver your message. The cost will be high. We will both profit by it. Is there any other service you require? Gouverneur. Oh, an old man like me. I dare say Guzan has exhausted me already. Then show yourself out. Madame Joseph. Expecting a package. It? But not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. And do you mean for me to meet the same fate? Look around. One threat, and these men will end you. I bring no threat. Tell me, how do the Templars allow you to carry on like this? <laughs> <laughs> I am only the messenger. But before you judge, remember, the Templar's coin, like any, will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this, Mark. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor and an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I think the storm stranded you. What do you need? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. And perhaps something can be arranged. Is this your game? Very well. Then you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. First find his plantation contact and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Silly patoto crabla va manger. Silly patoto crabla va manger. <laughs> Pas mal. A convincing baritone. Now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious.
s'est échappé Qui a laissé faire ça Fais-le-moi ah ah Non, avec ça Non, il est bien fatigué Non, il est bien fatigué Attaquez de côté The wise man is down that path. Thank you, sister. Augustine, do you fall? (laughs) 
blanc dit sans fait. Bon Dieu fait sans dit. The French governor is two-faced. Bastien helps as she can, but Maron independence is long to build. Longer now. A warrior like you would be a great asset to our cause. With due respect, I serve a different brotherhood and I'm honor bound to return as soon as I find the means. But only the Iowa know when that will be. Meantime, I have sanctuary and weapons to share. Perhaps our needs may align for a time. What do you need? Recruits, liberated slaves. The warriors among them join me. The others grow the community for which we fight. Titarti, Moazo Fesoni. I suppose I might lend a hand for a time. Petit Bashi. I will see that you are rewarded for whatever you can give. Best begin soon. There's much to do. So personally, I love this. I think it's brilliant. I really enjoy the story. It's wonderful. You're getting more people. You're growing this community, but it's different. It means more, and that's why I love it so much. So I give it a strong buy. Absolutely. If you have to buy it, buy it. But if you have PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Plus, get it. It's fantastic. Even if you're not into Assassin's Creed, I think this is just a wonderful um, piece of work. So definitely check it out. I love the music. Just all of it, it means so much. So definitely check it out at the least. But I think it's a strong buy. I don't know what you like.